Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan Ivory and I'm excited to be sharing on Our Community Reads. Um, just a little bit about myself, uh, my education. I do have a degree in Network Systems Administration and I have been working in the IT um, field for just about 13 years now. I'm currently working as a senior uh, IT support analyst uh, for Duo Security, which is now under the Cisco umbrella. So very proud of that. Um, the elementary school that I went to was McDowell Elementary um, in the Detroit Public School System. Um, came up through that system and actually was blessed to be able to graduate as a co-valedictorian from high school. Um, so that means that there was somebody else that had the exact same GPA. So very blessed to be able to do that. Um, I am married, um, have four beautiful children. Um, my oldest daughter, Naira, is 14. And I actually have three awesome and energetic 12-year-olds, Javen, Jemiah, and Jalea. Yes, they are triplets, so excited about that. Um, so um, today's Black Lives Matter principle that I'm going to share with you guys is about black families. Um, very important that we um, black families be strong. Um, and that they be properly represented and show that there's a lot of strength in our communities um, and make sure um, that we have a place where all of us can grow up and be safe, especially during these these times where times are troubling um, and there are issues that we are dealing with when it comes to social injustice amongst minorities. So the black family and the strength of the black family is absolutely key. And to share that, help us share that idea, we are going to be reading Jabari Jumps. Barry Jumps by Gayla Cornwell. Um, really great book. So I want to go ahead and start reading to you guys. So Jabari Jumps. Alright, Jabari Jumps. Alright, so we got a picture of Jabari here holding his dad's hand. And Jabari says, I'm jumping off the diving board today. Jabari told his dad. Really said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he is ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari. Lots of confidence. So I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees, and then they sprang up, 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 and then they dove down, down, down. Splash! Looks easy, right? Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder, and he looked up at this huge, tall ladder. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. Then he said, I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. So Jabari waited, and as you can see, everybody's gone. But he just sat there and just kept thinking and thinking. Hmm. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay, called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. You see Jabari coming back down that ladder. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. Oh, I forgot to do my stretches, he said to my dad. So he starts doing all the stretches. Stretching is very important, he said to his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes... If I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and I tell myself if I, I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and it feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loves surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it feel his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. So Jabari looked up. And he began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood straight up. He walked all the way to the end of the board. Man, his toes curled around the edge. Look at that from Jabari's perspective. That's what he sees. 
Jabari looked out as far as he could see, and he felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. I love surprises. He took a deep breath. He spread out his arms, and he bent his knees, and then he sprang up, up off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a huge splash. Check that out. Huge splash. Down, down, and down he went. And then back up. Whoosh. Right back to the top of that water. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. Awesome. Awesome story. Jabari jumps. This is all about confidence and family being there for each other and seeing the black family stand together and be strong and him teaching him a valuable lesson that even though you're scared, it's okay to be scared, but you also overcome your fears. So awesome, awesome principle here. Jabari jumps by Gaya, Gaya Cornwall. Jabari jumps by Gaya Cornwall. Thank you for this opportunity. Our community reads. Everybody will have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.